Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Now, in the last episode, a hacking group by the name of Medjed said that they're going to take down the Phantom Thieves. And also, somebody named Alibaba has been texting Z's phone. We can't text them back. I have a suspicion that it's that girl with all those computers around her. But anyway, enough talking. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because here comes more Persona 5. We don't have nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Sleep. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Alibaba? Did Alibaba message you? Come on. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Man. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Good day. Who is this? What do you want? Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? You got the wrong guy. That's right. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Nope. Who are you again? There's no use lying to Alibaba because they know where we are at all times. I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey. Tell him. We need the name of the target. What's the target's name? I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm, I suppose past calling cards did have the names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of hearts. Wait, who is Futaba Sakura? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message, but you were sending text back just fine. How come now you can't send it at all? For real? So he threatened you, then just took off? And Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We should. Well, we got a name, so we just gotta steal that motherfucking heart. Bada bing, bada boom. We have solved our next case. We're gonna get. I like it when Z shows his phone. This? He just has it out there, like he's pulling on his wang or something. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this. What the hell? Taba Sakura. Oh shit! They're voice acting it. Okay, never mind. Let me shut up. Sorry. Wasn't Sakura? <laughs> it's boss's last name. Oh shit. Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Yo, Z is too laid back. He is borderline cold because he's so chill. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, t you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean... This might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. 
Well then, if we have to go about it cautiously, then it wouldn't make sense to bring somebody's name up out of nowhere. Let's see how Z plays this out. Hmm? What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? <sighs> that music changed though. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Hmm. He got awfully triggered once we mentioned Futaba Sakura's name. Interesting. Oh, I just remembered. Z, were you able to ask Bosk about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Mejed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Z. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. I don't think he's ever going to bring it up. He seemed awfully mad once we brought it up ourselves. So I doubt he's just gonna be like, Hey, uh, uh you know, I wanna talk about Futaba now. Let's go to sleep for today. Okay. So our next quest is to look into Futaba Sakura. First there was Mejed, then Alibaba, and now Futaba Sakura. We don't have any info on any of them. What in the world is going on? Let's go to sleep. I'm excited about this. I hate how this game like makes you go on like a cliffhanger every single freaking day. Like you have to wait and go through all these loading screens and then it just lets you sit in your mind and you're like, who the fuck Yo. is Futaba Sakura? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of your lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, how about this Futaba Sakura girl? If she's related to boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Wow. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. That is actually a good freaking idea, Ryuji. I gotta give that dude a pat on the back. Because he actually thought of a really legit idea. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget! There's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. Aw, oh, man. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the Red Light District. And don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. <sighs> Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yongin and gather info around the neighborhood. Yes. Let's do it. Let us ask the people of Yongin Jaya. Let's ask this guy. He seems old and grumpy. Futaba? Futaba? Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love. My teacher back when I was elementary school. Let's ask some other people too. Fuck you, old man. Can't even give me the answers that I need. Hopefully this person can tell me exactly what I want to know. Shopper. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? What a weird question. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who eats a lot then. Let's ask some other people too. What the fuck is up with these people in this town? Hey, Baldy. For Taba, who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm, but wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them though? That is actually pretty damn true, Mr. Old Man. Where else? Oh, hello, sir. Neighborhood man. Futaba? No, no, I don't know who that could be. Alrighty then. This lady, neighborhood housewife. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Mm -hmm. Why is nobody telling me anything? Oh, old man. Why is there so many old people here? Hmm? Do you want to listen in? 
Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send your opinions by email or fax. Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. What? I'm asking about Futaba. I don't give a damn about the Phantom Thieves. I know all about the Phantom Thieves. And not because I am the Phantom Thieves. Wink, wink. Futaba? Hmm, nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. Mm. Boss buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Okay. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Ooh, I know where one is. It is right around the corner, next to this person right here. And there's hey. actually not even a person here. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome! Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Sorry. Come again! Hmm, we didn't like find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Well, we know what happens when we ask the chief. He gets mad. He's like, hey, don't ever talk about Futaba ever again. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. What the fuck kind of names are these? Futaba? Wakaba? Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Daughter? Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. God damn. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. What the fuck? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it. Abuse? We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Fuck you, bitch. I like Makoto, but I don't like Sai. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. Yeah, you're damn right, Sajiro. Up top. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? Eesh. I don't think now's a good time to be asking about Futaba. Or Futaba, whatever her name is. What was that? Court? Custody? This doesn't involve you. You're right. Let me meet Futaba. But that's enough. Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. I want to meet her. You got that? I want to meet her Lock right now, Sajiro. No, I'm not locking the store up unless I meet her right now. Mm, the existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. I feel like if we keep pressing the situation, he's finally going to blow up in our face. And he's probably going to kick us out. So I don't think we can ask him about it anymore. But we still got to look into Futaba Sakura. Mm. What do you think the chief was arguing about with that lady? I wonder. I wonder, too. But we're going to sleep on it, and we're going to mm. figure this out together. The woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. No, you know what's up, Makoto. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. Maybe. I don't know. He's a hard ass on Z, but I think he's just like the tough love kind of guy. I don't think so. I would like to believe so as well, but 
We don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? I can't imagine Sajiro beating Is on little Alibaba? girls. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Does she have a palace? Tell me her keywords. How would Alibaba know any of these two things? Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. I want to meet you. Let's meet somewhere. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either, don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me... Wait a second. Who are you? I said the deal's off! We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? He sure did. This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. Wait, how is Medjet out of the picture? I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! Alright, alright, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, Ryuji, I am prepared. We got 150,000 yen out of it! Damn! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Oh yeah, strip clubs in the red light district on me! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Hell yeah, that was a disappointment. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? I call sushi. Ooh, how about sushi? Oh my I god. Can really go for some eel, Me too. and this motherfucker Ryuji, we're two in sync. I love this guy. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. I like grabbing the sushi and then putting a little bit of the ginger on top and then combining it. Ugh. Oh. It's like heaven in your mouth. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Yes, sushi's fine. Sushi and is the decided. best. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Like any time anybody will ask me, hey Jay, what do you want to eat? I'm always going to say sushi if I'm craving Japanese food. I'm not craving any other type of Japanese food like tempura or udon or any of that stuff. All I'm craving is sushi and onigiri. If you guys know what that is, oh my god, it's so good. I wonder if all that Medjet business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now given our fame. Huh? When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. 
Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah, something's not right. I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke's right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto! We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow! I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me! You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. Well, we're just doing the work that they can't handle. How much more can they screw us over? Oh, much more. Much, much more. Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Ooh, sassy. You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. No, 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 no. Is that too much? Now that's way too much. That's way too much. There's nothing at the Borderline moment that extra. falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. How can he link the Phantom Thieves to terrorist actions? The only value they that. have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. He has a really calming voice kind of dig it but i don't know why persona likes to have like high school detectives like first it was naoto okay. now it's catchy like how do they get a job in that anyway shouldn't you be in school why are you working on like the police force this place is in ginza right do we take the usual train from shibuya new area unlocked ginza famous for its high-end shops its property value is japan's highest all right all right The flounder is out of this world. <laughs> that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. Who cares? We have 150,000 yen. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. <laughs> I love Ryuji's mouthful so voice. So good. <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. And don't talk! By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? Didn't you ask me this already? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? He is pretty strict. No chance. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. You never know really what somebody's like behind abuse, closed doors. He'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Yeah. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? 
He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. What? Doubtful. Ryuji, your imagination has run you rampant. You and your conspiracy theories. I just slap you silly. <laughs> Even Z's like. Hmm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. That's what she said. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. Whoa, bro. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's looking at him. They're like, wait, did he say a Phantom Thieves? Uh, um, fan. Fantastic. This sushi is delicious. This is so Phantom Thieves-tastic. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. Hm. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. What? I heard the phantom thieves have a bigger dick than you do. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. You can tell Ryuji wants the fame so bad. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. I can enjoy the food and talk about boss, no problem. I doubt that he would abuse anybody, though. Like I said, he's just a hard ass, but inside, he's probably just a very cuddly Ichimasa, teddy bear. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Akechi kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima san? Nice sweater vest, asshole. Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Mm. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die ah, English again! Wait, what? So what, Medjet are like from America? What's it say? Because it keeps saying stuff in English. Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems so, you're all connected to like the to Phantom keep it diverse. Thieves. Got a problem? Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. What's Regarding up? this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? I don't like these questions. Retaliate, ignore them. I don't care, man. I'm a total rebel. Unsurprising. I suppose you aren't interested in such gossip. Ah, me? Nah. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. You got that right. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. Yeah. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. Huh. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. This motherfucker's good. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Well, you kind of implied it. Good to hear. You're the suspicious one. Ryuji's a phantom thief? Let's say you're suspicious. Mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. So I like you. your calm mannerisms. But don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we work together. Hey, don't wink at me, buddy. What the hell are you saying? 
I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. It seems like Akechi is interested in me. Whoa! Till, dude. I don't know if I swing that way. But we're about to level up like this. Justice Rank 2, Goro Akechi. All right. right. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I don't know, he's good though. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... Maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. August 21st? As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. That's less than a month from now. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. Never! We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. Interesting. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. Why do they keep calling it Leblanc? Am I the one mispronouncing it? Because I'm calling it LeBlanc, but everybody's calling it LeBlanc, like LeBlanc hair. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. See? I knew it. See, Makoto, I love you. I love you. You're too smart. You're too smart for this group. Real? So, she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. Will this be okay? I know where it is. Let's roll. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. Ah. But my fatty tuna! His fatty tuna now. No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. <sighs> Nobody is answering. But the lights are on. Come on. Think he's napping? 
Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Hey. Ah, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. Hey. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Well, what a freaking coincidence! I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa, it sounds like it's gonna rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? No. Probably. <sighs> My apologies, boss. So basically, they're breaking and entering. Great. You know, Makoto's always a good role model for everybody. Uh, hello, sir? He's not out, is he? This is kind of creepy. The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, Boss is kind of old, ain't he? What if Boss is like in his basement chopping up little children's bodies or something? I don't know why I'm thinking like that right now. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> Scream? What was that? It's the abuse! How should I know? So Jiro is abusing people, what the fuck? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Maybe. Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? Hey... <laughs> hey... <laughs> Anytime. Z, you fucking dog! I love you. I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No, no. my legs won't move. Oh my god, somebody's dramatic. Whoa! Ah! Oh, Makoto! Uh, Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? That was awesome! You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please save me, sis! <laughs> are you okay, Futaba? Crap, he's home! Oh, crap. We're screwed. It's not what it looks like. Who the hell are you? Don't move! You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. Holy shit. That was awesome. You? What are you doing in my house? Uh... You're... Oh, a good... Good evening, sir. We... we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san? Wait, are, are you two dating? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. This is too crazy. We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> I guess. But that's not it! Kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? If you want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Wow. 
Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. That was probably the best part of the game so far. That was awesome. I like that. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? What about her father? There wasn't a father. There wasn't a father? So what, she just got pregnant all by herself? Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. Oh, okay. I didn't know him, though. About to say. She never said a word about him, either. She was one of those supernatural beings that just got pregnant out of nowhere. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. She left? Did she die? Yes. She committed suicide. Whoa. Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Why would you do it right in front of your to kid? Describe that. What? It's gotta be devastating for a kid. Why would you do that? So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. Mm. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believe in that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. That's creepy. Visual and auditory hallucinations. That is scary. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Don't worry about it. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. 
I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? Is that what you desire? What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. This is getting so interesting, guys. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. I love this game so much. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. That's sad. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. We do need clues. I don't know about this. Well, if we want to do this, we need clues. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. Hmm. All right. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We... No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So Morgana was in there the whole time. That's boss. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, I'm going to end this episode here. We have a name. The Phantom Thieves want to change Futaba's heart. We are going to see if we can do that in the next episode. At least find Futaba's palace in the next episode. So if you guys want to see that as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude.